how are Christian spouses supposed to serve each other in the bedroom? Now, you guys know that I am all about mutual pleasure here on my page. And if you don't know me, I'm Angela, the Christian sex expert. I talk all about sex and intimacy and Christian marriage. And I've gotten a lot of comments lately from people who are like, well, why, why can't we just joyfully serve our spouses in the bedroom? Because, you know, we, we need to make sure that we're meeting their needs. And this is only ever talked about in the context of the higher drive spouse, usually the man, getting his needs met, as in he making sure that his wife is giving him orgasms. And even if she's not really enjoying it, she's not getting pleasure from it, it's, well, you need to joyfully serve him. You need to serve him. But nobody like thinks about what that is really saying. That is saying that there's a husband out there who is using his wife's body to fulfill his sexual urges and not being invested in whether she's enjoying it. I don't want my husband to joyfully serve me in bed. I want him to enjoy it just as much as I am. And if he's not enjoying it, if he's just doing it to serve my needs, what does that say about me? If I'm truly invested in his pleasure and his experience, would I want to have sex where he isn't having fun? If you're going to tell one spouse to joyfully serve their spouse, you need to tell it to both spouses. And if you're then telling both spouses to joyfully serve, then wouldn't the spouse who's do the orgasms to make sure their needs are met not really want any orgasms if their spouse doesn't want it? This just doesn't seem like the fruits of the spirit to me. Nowhere in Song of Solomon is the focus only on one person's orgasm. It's always mutual pleasure. And that's like the whole book that talks about sex, not just a couple of verses taken out of context. We have to do better.